But now, with the end of the Great Dynasty, a new enemy had emerged to challenge Egypt's might, the Hittites. The Hittites living in what is now Turkey were a more technologically advanced power than Egypt. Already they were pushing against the northern border of Egypt's empire. Muslims worshipped in iconic mosques. An entirely new display of praise began to gather a following. Known as the Sema ritual, it was the vision of Sufi master Rumi. The purpose to honor Allah and chronicle the spiritual path man must take on the journey to enlightenment.
was the groundwork of the secret doctrine. With the help of God, the ruler of the world loosened the bands of the law. Blessed be his name. Blessed be his name. of Tomania, the conqueror of Austerlitz, the future emperor of the world. Speak. I'm sorry, but I don't want to be a, an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone, and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical. Our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much, feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men. Cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world. Millions of despairing men, women, and little children. Victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed. The bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die. And the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate, only the unloved hate, the unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, don't fight for slavery, fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke it is written, the kingdom of God is within man, not one man nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world, a decent world, that will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future and old age a security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie. They do not fulfill that promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason, a world where science and progress will lead to all men's happiness. Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite!
This prince was called Alauddin and was Mohammedan. He had created in a lovely valley enclosed between two very high mountains a very beautiful garden full of every variety of fruit and trees that could be obtained. And around these plantations, various palaces and pavilions decorated with golden ornaments, paintings and furniture all made of silk. He had brought young girls of perfect beauty and full of charm to live here, and they were trained to sing, to play all sorts of instruments, to dance, and above all, to make the most seductive advances to men that can be imagined. This is the reason why the old man had this place built. Muhammad, having said that those who obeyed his will would go to paradise where they would find all the pleasures and delights of the world, beautiful women and rivers of milk and honey, this man wanted to pretend that he could make anyone he wished enter this very paradise. No one could penetrate into the garden we described, for they had built at the entrance to the valley a very fortified and impregnable castle. It could only be entered by a secret road.
Forget everything except what's here now in front of you. Because only by that, that being here are you able to tap the, uh, the full resources of the organism. Otherwise the, otherwise the distraction of thought eats up energies which could be used and applied to the work of self. When you pick up something, like you apply a paint, or you do anything, or when I speak now, I would like to be here entirely, despite the distraction of the mind. And that's very much the secret of good work in anything.
The Sufi Mevlevi order was outlawed in 1925 and is still technically illegal. But the right to perform the Sema ritual was reinstated in 1954. Turkey's whirling dervishes ritual is such a rare treasure that it is one of UNESCO's masterpieces of the oral and intangible heritage of humanity.
master of what is. The dwelling is not empty of the ancient sprouts. I am the witness, the spectator, dispenser of mercy in the beginning and the end. Do not be misled by the changing of forms. You say so and so passed and so and so came. I tell you to consider the faces as all one face, as long as the master of existence is in existence, present, existent. Do not depart from the orders of him who received your engagement, whether Arab or Persian or Turk or Greek. I am the ruler, dispenser of orders and of will. Whoever knows me inwardly possesses the truth. Knowledge of me is not perfect unless I say, my slave, obey me and know me in true knowledge of me. I shall make you alive like me. You shall not die. And rich you shall be not poor, and great you shall not be abased. Hear and pray, you will be advantaged. I am the one present, and you are those present in my presence. I am the one near who does not depart. If I punish you, it is my justice. If I forgive you, it is my generosity and my excellence. I am the master of mercy and dispenser of forgiveness and of the clear truth. Praise to God, Lord of the worlds. This is a clear explanation. <laughs>
gun. The perfect gun is not visible. The perfect gun exists in the savage state. The perfect gun confers omnipotence. The perfect gun will follow the free tendencies of desire. The perfect gun is like a rosary around the neck. The perfect gun stretches as far as the eye can see.
My code name is Project 2501. Industrial espionage and intelligence manipulation. Get up, 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 get up,